Cam Smith's $6 million live vindication is huge imbalance exposes star reality we didn't see coming. For those questioning why Cameron Smith joined the Saudi-backed Live Golf Series, he provided six million Australian dollars worth of reasons on Monday est. By winning at Rich Harvest Farms in Chicago, he earned his biggest payday for his golf swing of the year, better than the 5.3 million Australian dollars he earned by taking out the players and 3.7 million Australian dollars at the Open. The prize money he has now won from his opening two Live tournaments. 7,473,592 Australian dollars, makes a mockery of the 15,070,783 Australian dollars he made from 18 PGA Tour events last season. But the other compelling reason, for getting the 140 million Australian dollars joining fee for a moment, is the list of the top 10 from the two competing golf tournaments that wrapped up over the weekend. While a number of the PGA's best were cooling their heels ahead of this week's President's Cup and others like Rory McIlroy and John Rahm skipped the tournament in California, there was a who's who of golf in Chicago. At Silverado Resort in Napa, California, Max Homa celebrated a one-shot win over England's Danny Willett after the former Masters champion three-putted from close range on the final hole to gift the American the 40-net championship. He took home 2.14 million Australian dollars for the win almost $4 million less than Smith. Of the top 10, Homa was the highest-ranked player in the PGA at 22nd in the official World Golf Rankings. 2021 Masters champion Hideki Matsuyama was the highest-ranked player at number 16. Ricky Fowler, who finished tied 6th alongside Sahithi Gala, 55th, was the biggest name but has slid out to 185th in the World Rankings after a horrible few years. Willett, the 34-year-old from England, is ranked 149th and has managed just two other top 10 finishes in majors since his incredible tournament at the 2016 Masters. By comparison, Smith's 13-under to claim his maiden win on the Live Golf Series and just his second tournament came in a field littered with golf's biggest names. The top 10 in Chicago featured Dustin Johnson, who finished tied second, Sergio Garcia, Joaquin Neiman, Louis Wusthuizen, Charles Schwartzel, Phil Mickelson, and Bryson DeChambeau. Mickelson 6 under 66 in the final round to surge into the top 10 showed that the 52-year-old is by no means old used goods. But Smith's stunning three days also shined a light on the amount of golf played on the PGA Tour, which led to a number of the big names pulling out. Australian Adam Scott earlier this year said the Live Golf Series was very appealing because of the less taxing schedule. I think the schedule that they're proposing is very appealing to probably most golfers, I would think. Depending what your goals are in golf, I think the schedule is very appealing so from that side of things I would consider doing that for sure," he told Australian reporters ahead of the Genesis Open in February. From a lifestyle of things, yes. Speaking after his clutch win in Chicago, Smith said he hoped his victory so soon after joining the controversial tour would go some way in silencing his critics who believed he was money-obsessed. I think I had to prove to myself and some other people that I'm still a great player, I'm still out here to win golf tournaments," Smith said. I'm proud of how I hung in there today. Didn't have my best stuff for 8 or 9 holes, but stuck in touch and made a few good putts coming in. It was nice. Smith celebrated the victory alongside tour organizer Greg Norman. And while no beers will be drunk from the trophy like the Claret Chug, the Open winner said he would enjoy a couple of beers nonetheless following his biggest payday. We can't fit any beers in this trophy. It'd be a little bit difficult, he said. I'm sure it'll be a late night.